today I'm going to talk to you about our weekly work in Humanities 115 and part of the reason for that is I get students who are confused about what to call what and where to put things and so I want to walk through um, just how I want you to do things. Now all of this is already up on the Blackboard site under major assignments and weekly stuff I think is their secondary title um, and, but I know a lot of you would rather just listen quickly and get it over with and have to read pages and pages. So you can still go read pages and pages and each of the pieces, um, the homework stuff, um, reading logs and the discussion board all have samples there of good work from past students. Um, they may not always be on the same topic as yours, but they're at least give you an idea of how and what to do. So for your homework, um, I do have up there an assignment um, format and you can basically just copy that down um, cut and paste basically and then put all your information in and use that template all the time um, just make sure you're saving as when you get to the end of your homework stuff that way you still have the template for the next one um, anyway um, the assignment format is roughly MLA um, and by that I mean it has a header that has your last name and the page number in it um, it has a name block on the first page only, so you type that on the first page, single space usually. Um, your name, the class and section, so Humanities 115, whatever section you're in. Um, my name, the instructor's name, um, this is Oliver, and then the assignment, um, whether it's reading log two or you know exercises for chapter seven or whatever. Um, and then the due date, not the date you do it on, the DUE date. Um, and so that's probably going to be, you know, a Tuesday or a Thursday, and you're going to put that date in there. Um, and then you're just going to work on whatever you're working on. Um, label things, um, label for homework um, for your exercises. Tell me that it's 7.2, number three, 7.5, number five, whatever you're doing, okay? Um, make sure you label things so it's easy for me to give you credit for what you've done. Um, the other part of that is um, if you're going to you're going to use complete sentences. I know sometimes that's a pain, um, but it does help you put it into your head a little bit more deeply than just uh, short-term memory. Um, complete sentences and or write out the answer. So if it gives you a multiple choice question and your answer is D, give me D and then whatever that answer is. Okay, in addition to the, the actual letter. Um, again, it helps. That D isn't going to mean anything to you um, when you're looking at um, studying for tests or whatever. And really, that's what all this is for, is to help you internalize the concepts, which is my big deal and my, my hope for this, um, and then also to make it easier for you to do well on the exams, Okay, since they are a pretty good portion of your grade. Um, for extra credit, because everybody always asks, how do I get extra credit? Um, you get extra credit by doing extra work. Um, I don't give extra credit assignments. I don't think that's fair to the rest of the folks who have been doing their work all the time. Um, and so if you want extra credit, do extra questions on the homework. Um, if you're going to want extra credit on the study guides, um, which is also part of homework, um, do extra prep for that. Um, write out the definitions, do some extra problems, that kind of thing, um, and you get extra points that way. Um, and for um, the paper drafts, which also fall into homework, um, do extra work. Okay, If I ask you for three pages um, and you give me all three pages and a works cited page. Okay, there you go. Now, I use terminology for MLA because I think most of my students, that's what they're most familiar with. If you would rather do your papers in APA style, I'm good for that as well. Um, if you would need to practice, um, you're in criminal justice or something like that and you're going to have to use APA um, or you're in English 112 and you want to practice, by all means do that. Okay. Um, so that's the homework. Um, again, it's at least, unless we have a test that week, um, you're going to have things that are reading logs and which I'm going to talk about in a minute, but um, chapter exercises and that kind of thing happen pretty much on an ongoing basis. And so you need to be familiar with how to do that. And again, there are samples for you under major assignments, weekly stuff. 
um, the reading logs tend to, um, once you get the hang of it, it's not a big deal. Um, I want at least a page of whatever you do to help you understand and internalize the concepts in the chapter or section of a chapter. Um, at least a page means about 300 words. Um, you can type them up on Word. You can handwrite them and take a picture and send them in. Um, just make sure that you're covering and you're making it useful for you. Um, just because you're done with your page doesn't necessarily mean you're done with the work. Um, and for extra work, you get extra credit. Um, make sure, so everybody's page is the same, that you double space and you use a 12 point font. Um, I think a lot of the word now defaults to that Calibri and 11. So type whatever you need to do, triple click in the margin and it'll highlight everything and then you can tell it to be 12 point font and you can also, you know, make sure it's double spaced and that kind of thing. So you end up getting credit for what you really did. Um, I am good at figuring things out if that's not the case. So, you know, we'll figure things as we go longer and shorter. Um, for your notes, outline, summary, whatever, or a combination of those things, which is usually how I end up going. Um, I like to know my keywords, you know, so I'm define those as we go along. Um, there's a lot of information in here and you can really get um, bogged down or overwhelmed with how much there is. Um, it's always a good idea to um, look at the very front of the chapter and see what the what they're going to accomplish in that chapter and make sure that you're spending time with all of those concepts. Um, some chapters are longer than others. Some are more technical. Um, and so it just depends upon how things work um, so that we can uh, do this well. I'm trying to help you. Um, I know as a student, um, I needed my instructors to um, give me things to do so that I could do well on their exams and such. And so that's what I'm trying to do for you. These are the things I privilege. And of course, that's what ends up a lot of times on the test. Um, and so make sure that you're, you're reading your stuff, that you're watching the videos. Um, I try to make sure that my videos are pretty comprehensive. Um, and so sometimes they're a little long. Um, have a look ahead of the week to see how long things are and plan your time accordingly, okay? Um, the last piece is the discussion board. We do one of those every week. Um, you're supposed to post your own answer. Um, usually it's a quote and I ask you to respond to it, so I leave it pretty wide open for you. Um, your post should be at least 250 words. Um, conform to basically English class English. Um, so read it out loud before you post it, make sure that it makes sense. Please use capital letters where they belong, especially for I. Um, this is not a text to a friend. This is an assignment that you're turning in for your instructor. You're also going to get um, some feedback and such from your, your peers. Um, and so I want you to put your best work forward. Um, and so treat it like it, treat it for what it is. It is an assignment in class. Um, and even though it's a discussion board and I want your opinion and I want your um, wonderful ideas and everything, um, I still want it to be um, focused and edited um, so you get a chance to do that. Um, the other thing with the discussion posts, um, discussion board is you need to reply to at least two of your classmates. And again, standard written English, um, but also stay respectful, even if you highly disagree with them. Um, and make sure that your tone and everything is something you could use if we were face to face. Um, that's a hard thing to remember when we're online and when your class is online, it's even more crucial um, to remember that we are all feeling human beings and sometimes it's not always appropriate to um, kind of speak our minds that forcefully. Um, make sure, and this is one thing for um, Blackboard, um, it likes Word documents um, it's okay with PDFs and the JPEG, take a picture of your handwriting kind of thing. Um, make sure though that if you're typing in discussion boards, sometimes it will just randomly burp and all your stuff is gone. Sometimes you can get it back by hitting that little back arrow on your browser, um, but not always. Um, so my advice to you is to 
look at the discussion board prompt and then do your work in a Word document. Um, and that way you also get the squiggly lines for when it's misspelled and that kind of stuff. Um, but you also have a record, okay? So if something happens um, and Blackboard screws things up, um, it doesn't happen very often, really, but um, sometimes it does and you want to be prepared. Um, so make your Blackboard post, your, your discussion board post in a Word document, save it so you have it forever or, you know, as long as this tech lasts. Um, and then copy and paste it into the discussion board. Um, I hate to have um, attachments in discussion board. Um, you will find that if we, well, you won't find because I don't let you do it. Um, but anyway, it's, it's really difficult sometimes um, depending upon what you're looking at discussion board, what device you're using, um, that you can even see things if they're um, attached. So I make you copy and paste. Um, basically highlight with your cursor, click control C, and then when you go to Blackboard to pop it in, control V, paste things. Um, anyway, those are things to help you along in the weekly stuff, and I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know if you have questions. You have my email. I think I say that at the end of pretty much every video, but that's true. Um, I think I'm being very clear, but you may not, and you may have some questions, and I'm okay with that. Um, so shoot me an email, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Um, make sure that you've walked through what's up on Blackboard under homework, sorry, under major assignments, which is under course information. Everything is pretty much under course information, um, except our weekly work. Um, and go under major assignments and then weekly stuff, and you'll have some samples and some more things written down for you to look at. Um, there's a rubric for the discussion boards. Um, I may put the writing rubric there as well. I have it in the writing helps section, but that's about how that works. Okay. So if you have questions, like I said, send me an email, more than happy to help. Otherwise, onward. Have a good day.